15 and 7 run with the complimentary plays here on the video report following Friday's 2 0 sweep. And I've got two more free selections coming your way in just a moment. This, of course, being Saturday, you know the drill, guys. Each and every Saturday for the past four years, I've given you a money saving discount coupon code that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars off your total purchase price. And today is no exception. You can save 25% off your total purchase price today simply by using coupon code 25PERCENT. Say it after me, 25%. Now, the uniqueness of this coupon is simply that it's a mix and match coupon. It can be used for any combination of handicappers, picks, and or packages. The only stipulation... It's a one-time usage coupon, which means you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time to maximize your savings. Can't come in and buy Shawn Michaels' big 100 dime play, which goes on the early card, and then come in and buy Craig Davis's late big dog play at two different times. No, you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time, any mixture of picks and or packages, and you will save 25% off the total purchase price. I do this every single Saturday because it allows you to maximize your savings knowing that you can always count on this coupon on Saturdays. And I do it also because about 80 to 85% of you out there that are customers at the site are already wrapped up in long-term packages. So it allows you to extend those packages as well at a discount, for example, let's say you have seven days left of a Jeff Benton package, right? Well, you can get another 30-day package, save 25% off the top, right? Then it would give you 37 days of action remaining. And if you have any instant rebates, those are applicable as well. Should you ever have any questions, you can always contact customer service. Now, more than half price off today. That's right, more than half price off. Shawn Michaels going for winning day number 140 over 249. That's over a two-year period. Remember, he's not an everyday handicapper. 100 dime road warrior lock of the year. These are the same 100 dime plays that he's on a 59 and 31 run in the NFL over the past five seasons following the Patriots in the Super Bowl. The same 100 dimers. He's won 20 out of 26 in college football the past four years. And $10 betters have won over 15 grand over the past 26 months. The coupon code is Sean. Sean, that'll save you $60. More than half price off, Sean is your coupon code. And uh, late night bailout, you might want to consider Craig Davis going for winning day number 22 out of 36, 59 dog of the month, goes on the late card, you save $77, you get it for only 22 bucks by using coupon code DAVIS22, DAVIS22, D-A-V-I-S, let me pronounce that one, spell that one more time, D-A-V-I-S, and 2-2, two, two, no space between the number and his last name. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a shot with Arizona tonight at home against the New York Mets. Now, the Mets won the series opener 6-2, to two, but then fell last night at Chase Field in Phoenix 7-2. to two. Uh, Arizona's won three of its last four, and in those three wins, the Diamondbacks have put 23 runs on the board. Meanwhile, the Mets have lost 10 of their last 12 on the road. I used Bartello Colon in his last start at home, and it was a shaky outing, but he did get the win. I used him as a free play, but even though he's 3-1 and one in four road starts this season, and even though he closed last season by winning four of his final five road starts, I just can't go with him in this spot, considering that he's got a 7.31 earn run average in his last five starts compared to a 2.90 ERA in his first six starts. So the fact that he seeks to become the National League's first nine-game winner is a moot point as far as I'm concerned. It's also a moot point that even though Chase Anderson has pitched well and got a no-run support, I'm willing to cast my lot with the Diamondbacks as a free pick. Anderson, well, you know, victimized repeatedly by a lack of run support. That's one of the reasons why the Diamondbacks are 1-8 and eight in his last nine starts. Now, did he pitch well in his last start against uh, Milwaukee on Sunday, a game that eventually went 17 innings? No. He got off the hook despite allowing 10 hits and 6 runs in 5 innings. But in his previous five starts, he had a 1.39 earned run average, and I think now's the time to jump back on, if there is such a thing, the Chase Anderson bandwagon. So that's your first free play. Your other free play is going to be Milwaukee on the afternoon card in what is essentially a bullpen game for the Minnesota Twins. Now, the Brewers snapped a two-game skid with last night's 10-5 series opening win. They had just scored five runs in a three-game set at St. Louis, but nobody said the Brewers had a pitching staff like the Cardinals, if you know what I mean. They had lost 11 of their previous 14 games as well. Now, the Twins had gone 14-3 and in their previous 17 games before losing last night, but today they're going to take a guy out of the bullpen, J.R. Graham. He's made 14 bullpen outings, as long as I think was three innings, in fact, in that Sunday's 
uh, or uh, just about a week ago, in fact. Um, you know, if he gives them three innings today, that's about it. And he's making the start because Ricky Nolasco is uh, injured again. So this is going to be, you know, call all arms in the bullpen and see what you can get for them for the Twinkies today. Meanwhile, Milwaukee's going with Matt Garza. What you see is what you get, and what you get is an inconsistent pitcher. This is a guy who had a 7 or has a 7.07 earned run average in five road outings this season giving up 33 hits and walking 15 batters in 28 innings. Now, he did pitch five innings of three-hit shutout ball against Arizona in relief to earn the Brewers the 17-inning win just this past Sunday. So naturally, his scheduled starts Monday against St. Louis was pushed back. But here's the thing. In his three previous starts, his ERA was over 11. And then, of course, in his previous four starts to those, his ERA was 3.16. You see what I mean? inconsistent. Uh, but again, I'm going to go with the Brewers in this spot, pretty much even money to minus $1.10 to beat the Twins in the afternoon affair. That'll do it for today. Best of luck to you guys, and I'll talk to you again on Sunday when we have a little NBA action to discuss. Good luck, everybody.